hello guys what's up welcome to quadrinal if you are new here kindly subscribe to this channel and like this video so today we are I'm going to show you sorry i'm going to show you how to edit pictures with instagram so these are some of the pictures i edited as you can see the before and the after so let's dive right into it so first of all um the plan wasn't to do two separate editing but then it i ended up with two so first you open your instagram app just like this now when your instagram app opens you just tap on the plus sign there that is to add a picture or a video then you move to your gallery you go through your pictures the picture you want to edit you select it actually really didn't plan to do this so it took me a little while to get the picture but then yes so i chose this actually these are the products of equal the things i make so i chose this detachable peplum belt then i zoomed in a little then i went to filter i use filter then i use the filter claridon i don't know if i got it right so i just chose it and then i pressed it on it again now i have to manage how bright okay how i want the editing to be so i just have to reduce the editing it's already prepared filter so i reduced it a little to how i wanted it i wanted my picture to look more natural so this is the before and after before and after yes then you go to next and then you press share but make sure because you are just using editing and not posting on instagram make sure your data is off now let's do another so it won't really share you press on instagram and then you add a new photo you choose your photo from your gallery or if you have to take a picture you zoom into the way you want it and then you go to next now you press on edit picture and then if you want to adjust the picture just do it when you press on adjust you just have to pinch to zoom it how you want you can rotate it if you want however you want it but i just zoomed it a little and then i pressed done and you just press down when you are done with your adjusting so yes as you can see there we go i zoom in to how i want it how i want my picture to be perfect now you press on brightness now with the brightness if it goes up it adds more light to it now it come when it comes to the negative side it dims it so i just added a little more light or brightness to my picture usually i never exceed 25 because i always want my picture to look natural and this is contrast when it goes down it makes your picture look dull when it goes up it brings out a, a bit contrasting so it's also never exceed 20 so i place it at 15 then i move on to warm i don't press on such um structure i'll come back there now warm when it goes down it's getting cool when it goes up it's getting warm and getting a little brighter but i want the picture a little bit cool so i just take it backwards a little just a little maybe to um, negative five or yeah negative six then i press down then to saturation when it goes down it takes the color away when it goes up it adds more color to your work to your picture so i added up just a little to it to make it more bright i have um 20 and i press down then i move on you saw the before and after to highlight now highlights add more light takes away a little shadow from it when it goes up and when it goes down it add more shadow so you highlight it to the point where you want it or you see that it's okay then to the shadows you press on shadow it will, it will add more light take away the shadow but it makes your work look white 
so sometimes it's not really necessary now you always have to make sure that you sharpen your work to make it look natural because of all the editing you've done to it so i add just a little sharpness to it to make it natural and sharp just like that then before and after i go back to structure structure is just like sharpening but this has a little detail to it you can decide to use it or not but sometimes i use it sometimes i don't so i just added a little structure to it and i'm done before and after here is the before and after you press next my data is also in zoom post then i just press share so it won't really post to instagram but it will keep it in my gallery now i just have to press on the three dots and then click on discard post discard and the post will be gone you do the same for this one all right guys thank you so much for watching this video if you really like this video kindly like this video subscribe and share it to your friends and then put all um type in all your comments in the comments section and any ideas or any DIYs you want me to take and i will do that thank you so much